My name is Cynthia and I'm going to talk about CalFlora Database Multiple Photo Upload. From the CalFlora homepage at calflora.org, make sure you are signed in. And if you're not already registered as a data contributor to CalFlora, you can do that here. On the left, click on Add Observations. There are many ways to add observations to CalFlora, including this multiple photo upload. Click Add Photos and choose the photo or photos you'd like to add. When you're typing the species name, you can type the scientific name or the common name and you'll see this drop down and you can choose the match. My globe is blue because the location was embedded in this photo as was the date, but let's add another one that does not have a location embedded and the globe is red. Type in the species name again and it is okay to add wild plants whether they're native or not to the CalFlora database. And then on the map choose the location where you were when you took the photo if that location is not embedded in the photo. Let's add multiple photos of the same species. And put them on top of each other because those are of the same observation underwater. And you can scroll down you're not totally sure of the spelling, find it that way. And the globe is red here again, so I'll click on the globe and choose my location for this observation from the map. If you change your mind about the location after you've clicked on the map, you can edit it here and you can also edit it from my observations. Now I have three observations, one of which has two photos. I'm going to upload them. And then you click here to view your observations. You can click here to add more photos. Let's view our observations. Notice that they're unpublished when they come into the CalFlora database. And you decide if and when to publish them for the general public. I'm going to click on this purple pencil and publish this one and this one, those are both ready. And for the white stem pondweed, I want to just show you if you choose to edit it, you can click on the editor here and then you can edit, add notes, add more photos, look up elevation, change the location accuracy, Although since I was in a lake and this was the lake, um, I was actually right around there, so that's pretty accurate. So I'm going to put in, oh, I'll say 20 meter accuracy, and then I'm going to publish it here. If you're worried about a rare plant being poached, you can also choose to obscure it here and save. Go back to the CalFlora homepage, and if you have any questions about the multiple photo upload, or anything else about CalFlora, here's our contact info. If you'd like to email us, click here. And if you do send us an email, please include the URL so that we can see exactly what you're seeing and better assist you. Thank you.